Well, I'm feeling a <clears throat> certain kind of way today. I actually uh, pulled out some of my college football footage when I played in Minnesota and won a, the championship in uh, 93. So I'm, I'm an older person excited about it and I've watched like four games so far and I'm sort of impressed at the way our team played Vermillion is the name of them the Vermillion Ironman I've watched you know years past after me the guys out there playing and and, and uh, you know winning a lot of games and so I wasn't able to follow it exactly when I left. But it was good to see. We played. I noticed in the first game that we played against North Hennepin. This is the first time I guess I realized I wasn't out there. And uh, Chad Hurgis was out there. And I was looking like, wow, I didn't remember this. But I knew I was, even back then, still rebellious against the system and all types of things like that so I'm notorious for being a, a contribution to the problem but uh, I'm controversial and I'm, I'm going to post the footage of these games once I can get it all together but um, I came in midway through the second quarter I noticed another guy that was a very good player didn't play and looking for B1 B1 wasn't out there so I really don't know what was happening against North Hennepin but um, I was in there for three plays the first play you know I play cornerback I don't even think I even said that I was 19 years old and I was a uh, It was my freshman year. I had turned 19, but I actually graduated at 17. I ended up going to try C for a year. And then I followed my cousin Dave out here to Vermilion in Minnesota, uh, Ely, Minnesota. And my buddy Chris, you know, may God bless his soul, he passed away. But Chris and I and Dave went out Dave had some controversy, some some things that were an issue, but nonetheless, you know, uh, I had, we all had ambitions on what it could have been like, but it didn't pan out that way, so we just continued. Uh, Dave had to come back, me and Chris stayed, and back to the game, and so I noticed I wasn't in. So I'm surprised because I know me, I was controversial. And they, Chad Hurgis was out there. Chad Hurgis had number 21, I had number three. And I ended up, the first play that I was in, I guess they didn't realize, you know, whether I could play or not. So they tested me and they went vertical, which means they threw a go route to a uh, kid, uh, number 25, whose last name was uh, Jenkins. And they threw a go route to him. And the quarterback, Parker, he overshot both of us. And I was in front of Jenkins, in, Jen in front of Jenks. So he wasn't going to get it. And I was next in line, the only person that was able to catch it. But the ball was thrown too far. Then the second play... They decided to throw another go route to Jinx. And uh, I was all over this one too. And it sailed out of bounds. And you can see me leap and dive. And the ball, the ball was out of bounds. Third play, they threw a... a um, it looked like a, 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 a dig route or square end. Or a, a, a skinny post or a slant or something like that. But 
make a long story short, the wide receiver went about five or six yards and then quickly slant over to his left. And when he was coming across, Duke, who played strong safety for us, tipped the ball, tipped the football, and went caromed in the air. And almost, I was Johnny on the spot. So I picked it off and I ran down to the goal line and a guy had hit my ankle. And then the guy hit me and blew me up. And he knocked me out of bounds and I almost had a touchdown immediately coming out of the gates. But I ended up getting, getting tackled. He blew me up and knocked me out of bounds, but that was the first pick. So I was in three plays, first pick. Now, Mike Williams, who was a wide receiver, when they tackled us, he ended up catching the touchdown pass. Now, what ended up being bizarre after that, a number of my interceptions after that, Joe Harmon got every touchdown, it seemed like. But um, I got the one touchdown, I mean the one pick, excuse me, the one interception in that game against North Henry Penn. And I noticed that I still came out so I was like okay I'm remembering now a little bit about myself and the disagreements and things that I had with Coach Gavauer and the disagreements with Coach Smith who's the defensive coordinator and um, they put Chad Hurges back in so we somewhat struggled in points and every time I got in you know we started to separate and pull ourselves away from North Hennepin. So that was interesting to see about that game. The next film that I had on there was Masabi, and I started against Masabi, and Damon Oliver, who's the other corner, who had number, well, he had number 37 on this particular game. So this, this first time he had number 37. And he was not in the starting lineup because him and Joe had got into some type of a controversial thing with somebody in the school or another situation that had brewed and, and Coach Gebauer benched them for a quarter. So there was types of things like that. They were disciplinarians and trying to enforce some type of respect or whatnot from us, which is cool. So it was a night game. This was a night game that we played against Masabi. And uh, I started in a hot night in Minnesota and I had my shirt tucked, pulled up and you could see, you know, my number three on my jersey and I always had my shoes taped. So I would have black shoes with white spat tape, wrist tape, gloves and everything like that. Um, one of the best face masks and all of those things was a part of my plan. So. In this game against Masabi, Damon wasn't over there, so Chad Hurges was out there. So they slightly tried to pick on Chad, and they moved right down the field on us. And the quarterback ended up running a – like the play broke down, and he ended up running and breaking loose. And I had to come all the way across the field to catch him. I got him somewhere around the 25-yard line, and – nearly flipped over to make sure that I was able to make that stop. But I did. I made the tackle and made sure that he didn't get any further than uh, what he was supposed to get. So that turned out to be a pretty good tackle. Masabi, just like everybody else, was a good team that we played. Masabi was good. North, North Hennepin was good. And for the most part, everybody we played was good opponents. They played played really well. So I was excited about the competitive part of them that they were able to be competitive when they played against us. Now we had a very a very powerful team. I kind of knew it somewhat when we was assembled that we had the potential to be you know, pretty deadly. So that ended up being something that worked out in our favor. You know. And 
when I did get a chance to, so when I did get a chance to, to, when Damon got in against Masai Weekend, it was a night, this was a night game. Our games was on Friday nights, except for the championship game, which ended up being on Saturday. But we, we competed, and we played a strong game against uh, Masabi. They put up a fight for a little while, but it, it, didn't, it didn't end up panning out too good for them. They had one play where they threw a vertical route, and I tipped it out of bounds, and I said, okay, they... They ready to start flirting with danger. So it looked like they had made their mind up that they was going to try to come my way and threw a deep end, like a stop pass, whatever it was. And as soon as the guy sat down on the route, boom, I sat down. I jumped in front of this thing, grabbed it, and ran across the field because all of the players had flowed to that end. And I ended up getting down once again, which was amazing, down to like the four-yard line or something like that before they tackled me. So that was two picks right there immediately that I had coming out the gates. And uh, we won that game. And the last one that I'll discuss real quickly was the state championship game. And in the state championship game, we... Played against a very good football team named Fergus Falls for the championship. Now, we was undefeated. And uh, Fergus had only lost one game. But they were very, very tough. And inside of this game, they threw a pass. They tried to throw another stop pass on me. Now, the field was terrible. I mean, it was like ice and snow the, the ground was made out of stone almost like and if you guys have ever been to minnesota especially during the winter time it gets cold so some people wonder why now i want to go down to georgia somewhere i lived for a while in that cold not a fan of it that much anymore but nonetheless so the guy threw the out route through the like a, a, like a deep hitch, which is when a guy runs the wide receiver. And the receiver that played for uh, Fergus Fall, his name was Simmons. And Simmons ran this deep hitch route. And I broke down and chopped my feet. And I broke on this thing. I said, uh-oh, they done made a mistake. Sure enough. I stepped in front of it, picked it off, and ran for about 30 or 40 yards before I ended up getting caught by by some fast pursuit. And this is the championship game. So I made a lot of tackles in this championship game. I was playing on fire and very competitive like I normally try to do. I love this team that we had. We had a great team. And um, I got this pick when I was back. I ran punts back also, a punt returner. <laughs> I was back for, excuse me, to return a punt. And they faked it. And the guy threw up a lollipop pass. And I was like, no, he didn't. So I ran up. And the guy, you can watch the film. And I'll post it one of the days so you guys can see. The guy that was the receiver. I guess he didn't realize that I was, I don't know what he was thinking, but he was like, he had a mindset like he was going to catch it. And I almost swooped in like an angel out of heaven and plucked this thing out the sky. And I jogged 65 yards and I put my hand up in the air and I was showboating and I was, was celebrating. You know, I had a 65 yard interception. So that was another interception for me. I would have made the last touchdown we had, but Joe Harmon, one more time, I uh, ended up scoring a touchdown a punt on a kickoff return. He, he ran a kickoff return back with four minutes and 40 seconds left 
to get the very last touchdown of that state championship year. Now, I would have had the last one, but Joe got it. So that is that is exciting to me. I'm pumped up about it. Now, at the end, you can see a clip of me and my buddy Chris, who passed away, holding the trophy and celebrating. And we took, you know, pictures together. Uh, very emotional time for me, especially now knowing Chris has passed away. And um, in the game against the game against Masabi, let me back up to that. I just talked about three games in the game against Masabi. Chris had a number of carries and got hit in the backfield a couple of times. And, uh, you know, very tough guy, though. War number two, shoes was always back. Looked just like Eric Metcalf, who was his favorite player. And um, I got an opportunity to meet Eric Metcalf one time. And uh, we actually got his phone number when I used to work at the airport. Got his phone number. And, and Chris and I, I, I surprised him, and it was really cool. I called Eric Metcalf, and he got a chance. We both got a chance to talk to Eric Metcalf on the phone when he was playing for the Browns. That was another highlight that was really cool. But there's a picture of me and Chris for the state championship game that we won. I got a little emotional, very emotional when I saw it and, you know, shared a couple of tears. But that's what emotion is all about. So this is a clip about me and playing at Vermilion VCC Vermilion Community College. We were the Vermilion Ironman up in Minnesota, 1993, state champion as a 19-year-old. I was uh, excited about that. Mike Williams, big shout-out to Mike Williams. Tony DeLeon, uh, Nick Baldwin. We got B1, Farmer, um, Mo from North Carolina, Jason Morgan, who came in from Michigan State, uh, Brian, Dave, who played safety, uh, again, Cornelius, Duke, um, everybody, you know, everybody that, that was on our team, we wasn't too bad for that year. So this is a shout-out to the 1993 state champion, Vermilion Ironman, cornerback Maurice Goodwin, number three, a.k.a. Bomb Goodwin. Peace.